Tamara Simmons is a producer of the much watched and discussed documentary series Surviving R. Kelly. I'm about to catch up with her here at the AIDC in Melbourne. There is a difference between R. Kelly and Robert. R. Kelly is this fun, laughing, loving guy. But Robert is the devil. Is the devil. Is the devil. R. Kelly is at the top of the charts, but he may be in for a fall. He was arrested today on 21 counts of child pornography. If a person has a history of being molested, there is possibility in the statistics show that they could also become an abuser later on. If that is true of R. Kelly, he may be repeating the same patterns um, of what happened to him in the past. Kelly is accused of videotaping himself having sex with an underage girl. Taking advantage of minors will not be tolerated. It wasn't easy for them to open up, as, you know, in the very beginning. Like I was saying, I'm a stranger and I'm a television producer. So they're like, you know, am I just telling you my story and that's it? Um, but when I told them like who I am and I'm a mother as well and I have a young daughter, I think that they understood that I was coming from a place of I wanted to educate people on this subject matter. She's not R. Kelly has denied accusations that he's holding women against their will in a sex cult. Dave said he loved you so much. <laughs> I have never introduced her to him. It was very scary because I knew at that moment I had a secret. I told them they can call me about any and everything. It didn't have to do anything with the documentary. Survivors would call me at early in the morning or the middle of the afternoon and say, I just can't do this. Like, I don't want to tell my story. Then I would just have to kind of like let them know like, hey, you know, this isn't just for you, it's for other people. Also, you're going to be saving other women and men that may be in these same situations. Jurors found him not guilty on all charges. Robert has said all along he would be clear to these terrible charges. I wanted them to focus on the positive and not the negative. Like you know your own truth. So if you know your own truth and you know what you're, t you're saying is true, all you have to do is say, all I did was do what I was supposed to do and tell my truth to help someone else. Black women don't get the same recognition as our white counterparts. We came together as like a small little like community and especially like because black women don't speak out. I think now the public can't like turn a blind eye anymore and say that 30 years later, these women are coming out saying the same thing that was said like 30 years ago. So it's like there has to be some truth somewhere in this. Before we, there were so many people that were just like, oh, these women are about money and they're about fame. Um, but as you see in the documentary, there was a system that was set in place. There were people that were set in place. That operation was continuing to go forward for a number of years. And I believe that if the documentary wasn't made or put out that this would still be going on today.